Hi, I'm Ming. After you've played traditional 4-cob and radio clock cobblers, it's time for more intermediate stuff. So let's examine our radio clock cobblers from last time. As you can see, these front 8 glooms deal massive damage to, to the gigas, but it still has some disadvantages. Let's look at a skeleton of it. So first, although like the, the glooms, they deal massive damage to the to a, to a gigas on slow tempo. On fast tempo, they deal too much damage to, to the jacks. So the jacks just spawn very quickly and it's impossible to perfectly suppress them even if you use a lot of ice. So that's one disadvantage. Another is that the power of the doom shroom is not fully utilized. So because there are no spot in the pool for doom, we can only put it here and it, can, it will miss one side. And also in the real gameplay, uh, the ice trail will cover column 9 and column 8 and even if it, it doesn't cover you're going to use cherry bomb here so you don't want your cherry spot to be covered with a crater and also doom here will uh, will miss zombies here sorry will miss zombies here and even like you have to time it very precisely and even you you do it's still possible for the doom to miss so that's a uh, like <sighs> Not, not very good. So as you can see like the Doom's potential is like really not used to the maximum for this structure. So how can we change it? Uh, just, just simply remove these four glooms. But then how can we beat the Gigas and the Zombies the footballs? So let's reseed all the plants like this. So the purpose of each plant land will be explained later. And let's see our other plants. So because the plants are reseeded, the tempo is going to be slower, so we don't need that many, sorry, that many ice rooms to suppress the jacks. Same for cattail. The plants are reseeded, the tempo is slower, one cattail is enough to beat all the balloons. So that's the rear structure. Let's look at how our new structure manages to deal with different zombies, mainly our old good friends Giga and Jack. Uh, for Giga, on row 2 and 5, you need to bomb them once. On 1 and 6, you need to bomb them twice. So the bombs are typically achieved by Doom, Cherry, and Cobb, as introduced later. And the, the extra, the ones extra on the side are typically done by Squash. For Jack, on row 2 and 5, you have the 7 Gloom Jack Suppression. I've introduced this in the Jack Suppression video. And the Gloom on column 6, and the Fume on column 4, they help improve its stability. The timing of it is to use ice immediately when you hear the jack spawn, which is the same as radio clock cobblers. Or like you can choose to bomb the jacks also. For row 1 and 6, we have the double fume auto jack suppression. Um, although the fumes are received at one block, it's still able to suppress the jacks automatically, whether they're frozen. For other minor threats, uh, in fact, they're actually more threatening than they are in the radio clock because we have reduced firepower. We only have one gloom here and only like one winter melon and two fumes to hit the side. Um, for football zombies, football zombies are almost guaranteed to bite this fume. So we have to use pumpkin to, to protect it. If we put pumpkin, the fume will become fatter and zombies may have like a tiny little chance of crushing it. Uh, in that case, we just remove the pumpkin to protect the fume in it. And for normal Gargon Tours, uh, if you freeze them or doom them properly, they should die. But if you just ignore them, they will have some, they will create some danger to that pumpkin. So you have to, you have to either stall, stall it or ice it. And let's build a strategy from this structure. The strategy I'm going to introduce today is called one cob suppression. So we will have one cob. So the cob cooperates with the cherry bomb to suppress the jack, so we don't need to use jalapeno. Therefore, we can ladder the whole thing. Like this. Because you know the jalapeno will, will definitely burn the ladders. And as I said as I said before, you only need one cattail and one ice. Sorry. And I add an extra winter melon in the pool to hit the snorkel zombies, bucket heads, and dolphin riders. Because the firepower is re reduced in the pool, you only have four glooms in the front. And the two glooms in the back to kill diggers and imps. 
Note that the gloom lineup may be ugly, you may want to swap this gloom and this umbrella leaf, but I just want the umbrella leaf to cover more plants. So this is our one cop suppression. Let's make a plan for our slow tempo. Uh, for slow tempo, the, there are two main things to get Giga and Jack again. It's these two. Uh, for Giga, the main idea is to use Cobb and Cherry Bomb alternatively to bomb them. Uh, the time for Cobb to recharge is 34.75 seconds, and time for Cherry is 50 seconds. So the time that it takes Cobbs to recharge three times is approximately two Cherry Bomb. So we can utilize that and just bomb the Gigas alternatively. And we can begin with Doom, and then Cobb plus Cherry, and then Cobb, and then Cherry, because Cobb recharges first, and then Cobb again. So, as you can see in this sequence, the Cobb is used three times, and the Cherry is used twice. And after this, the Cobb and Cherry are about to recharge simultaneously, and we can wait for that moment. Sorry. We can wait for that moment, and then Doom, and Cobb, Cherry. So here we can use them simultaneously. And for Jack, for Jack, Doom can suppress the Jack. Cobb plus Cherry can bomb to both sides and can also suppress the Jacks, but Cobb or Cherry alone they cannot. So our beginning is the same. Doom, Cobb, oh, I couldn't type. Cobb, Cherry, then Ice. Use Ice to freeze the Jacks, and whenever the Cobb recharges, you Cobb to bomb the Gigas. And then we can, after some Ices, we can we'll be back our original sequence and then just continue. So these are the sequences against Gigas and Jacks. And when Gigas are absent, there's no need to use the Giga, Giga se sequence, focus on Jack suppression. Okay, so now let's apply our ideas into a slow tempo real gameplay. As you can see, it's, there's Giga, Gargantor, Zomli, Jack, Football, a classic slow tempo. So we can bring like the car is basically the same as Radio Clock, except we can bring two cannon fodders. We can begin with a Doom. Just use Cough Beam immediately. X Wave, uh, Cough plus Cherry. And squash to squash the zombies here in order to protect the ice. There are some like annoying leftover gigas, just stall them to death. Okay, now they die. And let's just wait for the cop to recharge. And then when it recharges, use cop to hit the gigas. And when the new wave spawns, I uh, use ice. So now we're using cops and ice separately. The cop is only used against the gigas, now used for jack suppression. And whenever you bomb the new wave, make sure you have an ice here, otherwise if it spawns, that's going to be very annoying. Ah. And when the cherry is ready, we can also bomb the new wave. Okay, so whenever you can put cherry on column 7, put it on column 7 so that it can reach more zombies. Let's throw ice here. And this has died. So this giga doesn't have a scar on its head, so we're going to squash it. Uh, the indicator of whether to squash a giga is still the same for one cop suppression, like still the same with radio clock cobblers. And just so I choose to use cob and cherry alternatively on like the both halves, so that like I can hit at every giga at least once on the row two and five. Otherwise, like if you don't hit the gigas on two and five, then they're going to smash that gloom. You have to hit it at least one at least once. Now we've launched three cobs and two cherry bombs. Uh, now let's just wait for them to both recharge, and then use Doom, and then use Cop plus Cherry. Because like if you use Doom and then Ice, that's going to be troublesome, you know. Like, now you see the Cherry is about to recharge, and like it's a good indicator that you can use Doom. When using Doom, I prefer Column Eight because like, oh now the new wave spawns. So anyway, I, I I can use that Doom. When you, about when you are about to see that Cherry recharging, and like, uh the Cob is also about to recharge. And Cobb plus Cherry Bomb, put the Cherry in the water, make sure you have a spot for it, for it. And that Giga is not bombed, so let's just stall it, and wait for the Squash to recharge, and then Squash it. Or like, you can choose to stall it to death, like, just stall it like 2 or 3 extra times extra, and, and they will die, so. 
And for Gigas on row 2 and 5, if they're not frozen well, they may have a tiny chance of smashing the Gloom, but that, that's okay. Like, just stall it. Seems that's the wrap up, so let's freeze again. When, whenever you see these like Gigas going wild, like not frozen, you have to freeze it again. Otherwise, it will smash er everything. Just continue to stall them and then use Doom when ready. So just make sure the Doom hits like all of the zombies, especially the zombies closest to Refume, because these are the Gigas that are the most dangerous. So if you feel unconfident, just put it on column 8. And if you feel confident that it will definitely hit all of them, just put it on column 9. So freeze the bungees, I can use cherry to hit the new wave of gigas. Then maybe the squash will miss this giga, but that's okay, because later I'm going to bomb it. Yeah, I, I should have like stalled the gigas together and then use squash, but anyway, it's fine. Okay, now I bombed it one time extra, it dies. Now I've used uh, two cobs and uh, one, uh, three cops and two, two cherries again, so next wave I'm going to use Doom. So for using Doom, you don't have to wait for the wave to spawn. You can use it directly and then use cop plus cherry bomb. Yeah, so as long as you, you have the cop plus cherry ready, you can use Doom whenever you want. Squash here. Maybe I should have put that squash earlier, but it doesn't matter. And stall here. Okay, so now the cop has recharged, so next wave we can use Doom. When using them, be, be careful to click it quickly. Otherwise, Norco zombies are just going to eat it. And first, like find a slot for Cherry Bomb. Uh, seems like I, I can put it here. Uh, just be sure you have a spot for Cherry Bomb before launching the cob. Otherwise, when you launch the cob and then suddenly you realize you have no spot for Cherry Bomb, it's going to be bad. Although it's not the end of the world, but it's still not good. So these Gigas, I still need to bomb them. Now the squash is ready, so just squash them. Now they die. And the Jack take out that pumpkin. Just put it back. Store ice here. Meanwhile. Uh, like, when you don't have a pumpkin ready, you just use the lily pad to stall the snorkel zombies. And, and don't use them to, like, stall the dolphin riders, by the way. And now Gigas have disappeared, so we don't need to use launch cops to bomb them. And what we will just do is to uh, use Doom, Cop plus Cherry, and then Ice, Ice, Ice. So that's our normal tempo. That guard control is wild. So just Doom. So we, we don't need... So we will wait when the cop is ready, and then bomb. So when the cop is ready, we don't immediately launch it. We'll wait for Doom to recharge and then coordinate all of our instants together, so that like we can sub we can like have the best jack suppression. Because now there's no pressure from Giga. Ice again. Because whenever you don't have Doom, use ice. And if you like store the ice properly, they. Sh uh, you should have plenty of ice to use, because now the tempo is about card 2. So let's wait for the Doom, and then... Yeah, the Doom is about ready. You can actually store it here. Just don't let the zombies kill it, otherwise it's going to be stupid. But here, uh, there's only one zombie, so I'm pretty confident that it won't kill it. If you're unconfident, just pumpkin. Oh, that's the wrap-up. Okay. So, wrap-up. You can choose to launch that Doom. I will. Because like there is kind of some intense pressure from the kick on cores. Or if you think you can manage it, like you can use a cob or, or you can use a squash, there's just a lot of ways. A lot of ways to do it. Okay, the wrap up. The actual wrap up. We don't have Doom, but we still have cobs and cherry bomb and squash. So anyway, we're just going to bomb the gigas like on row. Uh, 2 and 5 once, and on row 1 and 6 twice. So now I have bombed row 1 twice, uh, once, once, once. So when the squash is ready, I'm just going to squash the gigas on row 6 one more time. And just to play safe, uh, I mean, you can stall the gigas once, just to prevent them from smashing anything. Yeah, because now I have plenty of cannon fodder, so I can do a lot of stuff. And before you squash, be sure to like stall the gigas together, otherwise the squash is going to miss. Okay, now like all the gigas are squashed, we're done, basically. 
Yeah, maybe we can st store an ice here. But it's on column 9, so it's quite dangerous. Yeah, anyway, it's okay. There's just a lot of ways to play it. And if you like plan your instance properly, carefully, it, it should be fine. Okay, that is it. So let's see the fast tempo. As you can see, this is a classic fast tempo with only zombie, even though football zombies. So we just bring our normal cards, but because there are no gigas, we don't need the can fathers. Instead, we can bring the fume and gloom sea packet for air tolerance. We can begin with the doom. Throw the ice. Because it's fast tempo, the ice. The ices have to be like planned very precisely. First wave, Doom. Second wave, Cobb. You can delay the Cobb time by like 1 or 2 seconds. And use that. Because like the earliest Jack, like the one maybe before, they cannot reach the Gloom. So, so even if it explodes, it's okay. And for the ice here, I'm pretty sure the next wave will spawn before the zombies are able to crush the ice. So I can safely store an ice here. Wow. Ice again. Where can I store this ice? So it's unsafe to throw it anywhere else. Hmm, that's a good problem. Maybe I, I, will, I won't throw this ice right now. Because it's kind of dangerous. And next wave we can use Doom. Put it here and then Doom. Make sure you click Coffee Bean fast enough, otherwise the snorkel zombies will eat it. Bomb here and Cherry Bomb. Yeah, like these early jacks, they cannot reach the gloom. See here? So even they explode, that's okay. But like for Doom and Cherry Bomb, you, you, you have to time it precisely. You, 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 you cannot risk of timing it late, then the Jack will take out the Cherry Bomb. Then that's very bad. Oh, it, take out, it takes out the Pumpkin. But that's okay. Because the Storkle Zombies, they won't do too much damage on the Gloom, even if the Pumpkin is dead. And if possible, you can stall them with a Lily Pad. But just be aware of the Dolphin Riders. When the Dolphins arrive, just remove the Lily Pad. Otherwise, the dolphins are going to jump over the lily pad and just land directly on that gloom. That's very stupid. So wait for a jack to explode and then maybe store an extra ice here. So for fast tempo, the key is to store ice. To find uh, what, wherever possible to store your ice. And, and wherever it's safe. Don't let jacks take out the ground, otherwise it's very stupid. Okay, so we can freeze the bungees. Oh, there are no bungees, but there are still jacks, so we still need to freeze them. And time the ice a little late than normal. And next wave, we can make the Doom ready. Okay, so we can actually do the timing when we put the Doom on column mate. Just play it by like 2 seconds. That, that should be enough. 1, 2... So just don't let the early jacks bomb it. Those 2 seconds is like... Uh, what what is enough? Then we can use Cobb and Cherry Bomb. Oh, I forgot to delete the Cobb time. That's stupid. Wait for this ice to be used. Uh -huh. Ice again. And then we have we can use the ice here. And then we run out of ice, but then we can use Doom. And we can store Doom here. Wait for uh, yeah, just don't store too early. Like when the jacks have reached column eight, you can stall them, store it safely. But when they are on column nine or somewhere in between, so now I can store Doom. Now, coffee. That barely recharges. And then, cop the cherry again. So I can delay the timing a little bit. I guess I can use this ice. 
So the key for fast tempo of perfect suppression is to use ice wisely. So find good spots for ice and find safe spots for ice. But like even if your suppression is not perfect, you're not going to die. See, I bring the blue packet here. So there's a lot of error tolerance right here. So like even if you like miss a wave of jack, so it, it won't it's not a hundred percent that the jacks will take out the bloom. And if the jack takes out the bloom, it's not a hundred percent that you will die. So there's lots lots of error tolerance here. I'm just de demonstrating the perfect sequence. So there's like the non-perfect ones, there's they will still work. For the wrap up, just flip the bungees and just wrap up everything. And store eyes here, that is going to recharge. Yeah, like this. Okay, we're finally done with this. Okay. As you can see, our eyes may may not be able to recharge, but it's okay because uh, remember in the first half, like our eyes slots are all full, so we wasted some recharge of the eyes. If we start like this, it's still going to be, like perfect. So although not all of our eyes recharge is not a big problem because like we won't use them like that frequently at the very very be very beginning. Okay, I think it's it's recharging. Like yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's the perfect s sequence. You see, like like the the eyes is recharged added together is approximately one ice, and I have one ice. Here, one ice here. So I started with three ices and ends up with three ices. That's the perfect jack suppression.